It's against the clock to find survivors in the rubble more than 48 hours after the country's deadliest earthquake in more than six decades. Nearly 2,900 people were killed. About the same number of people are injured. The quake devastated villages in the high Atlas Mountains. This man describes how he escaped his home as the quake hit. Then you realize you don't know which, which wall is going to fall down, suddenly stop. Then you just know you have to go out from the, from the door to, to save life or save yourself. Uh, it was a shocking experience. I don't know how to explain it even more. I'm still shocked of it and all the people also shocked. And we, we're trying to find some solution now for the people to feel a little bit mentally okay. With much of the quake zone in hard to reach areas, the full impact of the earthquake is yet to be known. Roads blocked or obstructed by dislodged rocks have made it difficult to get to the hardest hit locations. An earth and environmental science expert at Michigan State University tells News 10's Tania Jordan how this earthquake caused so much destruction. So if you imagine two pieces of rock that are next to each other and one side moves relative to the other, that's, an earth, that's what actually causes the earthquake. MSU Earth and Environmental Sciences' Jeff Freymuller says that's exactly what happened in Morocco on Friday when a 6.8 magnitude earthquake struck, leaving behind damage and devastation. The African plate and the Eurasian plate are getting closer together, and so that motion causes deformation of the, of the Earth's crust. Translation, the high Atlas Mountains in Morocco are getting closer together. Frey Mueller says that kind of motion typically causes an earthquake. The owner of Taste of Morocco in Lansing called the earthquake a devastating tragedy. Unable to go on camera, the Moroccan baker said she's trying to make her way to the family she still has in the North African country. Rescue teams searching for survivors and caring for the injured. Mohamed Athedi is a Moroccan-American who was visiting from the U.S. when he felt the ground shake. There was a lot of damage that happened to a lot of buildings. Some of them are mosques, some of them are houses. A lot of communities got hurt. The biggest issue with the old, the old traditional construction in Morocco would be essentially brick. Um, you know, so brick buildings fall apart when you shake them. Frey Mueller says Morocco's historic infrastructure played a key role in the extent of the damage the earthquake caused. Unreinforced concrete does the same thing. Um, that's why we use reinforced concrete uh, with uh, you know, steel bars in the, in, inside the concrete to provide extra strength. Hoping to prevent future devastation caused by earthquakes. Tanaya Jordan, News 10. And there are no reports of any Americans among the dead. The State Department described the number of injured U.S. citizens as a small percentage. After 